Two people died in a fire at one of the Russian capital's most notable buildings, a gargantuan brutalist apartment block that viewers have likened to a toppled skyscraper, emergency officials said Thursday. The nighttime fire broke out in the so-called Dom Korobol, ship building, a hive of about 1,000 apartments that looms 14 stories in the south-central part of Moscow. Emergency officials said preliminary investigation indicated it was caused by electrical problems in one of the flats. The building forms a high gray wall stretching along a main street for 400 meters, 1,300 feet, about the same length as the largest container ships and equivalent to the Empire State Building lying on its side. It was constructed by the Soviet Ministry of Media Machine Building, which also built nuclear power plants and developed nuclear warheads, completed in 1986 after 14 years of work. Israel displayed Wednesday one of the Iranian missiles it intercepted during the October 1 attack that saw Iran launch a wave of some 180 ballistic missiles at Israel in retaliation for the killing of top militants from Hamas and Hezbollah. This ballistic missile has a warhead the size of a ton. I'm talking about a ton of explosives pointed towards Israeli civilian. This type of missile, if it hits a residential building, can kill hundreds of civilians, said LTC Nadav Shoshani, spokesperson for the Israel Defense Forces. We will act against this aggression and when and where we decide, he added. The army also displayed what they said were Hezbollah weapons and ammunition taken from Lebanon during the Israeli ground operation. In recent weeks Israel has waged a punishing air campaign across large parts of Lebanon, targeting what it says are Hezbollah rocket launchers and other militant sites. In a matter of days, strikes killed Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah and most of his top commanders. Hezbollah's acting leader, Sheikh Naim Qasim, said in a televised statement Tuesday that the group has replaced its slain commanders and was preventing Israeli ground forces from advancing. The militants have extended their rocket fire deeper into Israel, disrupting life but causing few casualties. Israel is meanwhile considering options for a strike on Iran that could potentially escalate the war on yet another front. What we see uh, right here is a ballistic missile. This is just a fuel tank of a ballistic missile uh, that was fired towards Israel on October 1st. Uh, uh, this ballistic missile has a warhead the size of a ton, talking about a ton of explosives pointed towards Israeli civilian. This type of missile, if it hits a residential building, can kill hundreds of civilians. Iran a week ago fired not one of these, 180 of these and more towards Israeli civilians, sending around 10 million people to the bomb shelters for about an hour. Iran sent an unprecedented attack in a world scale of ballistic missiles towards Israel, sending most of Israel to the bomb shelters. This is an unacceptable act that no sovereign country in the world would accept. Not even one of these ballistic missiles, let alone 180. Uh, uh, and we will act against this aggression when and where we decide. We are currently operating in Lebanon. We've been, we've been defending the Israeli civilians for a year from Hezbollah's attack. Hezbollah started an unprovoked war exactly a year ago, yesterday. And we have been defending Israelis for a year. And we've been also been carrying out attacks to remove those threats for Israeli civilians, to eliminate those senior terrorists who want to carry out terror attacks 
an October 7th style attack from the north and to bring those munitions down. Currently, we are focusing on a, uh, limited localized targeted raids in southern Lebanon to remove those anti-tank missiles, cornets, RPGs, those advanced precision guided missiles pointed towards Israeli civilians, making sure our civilians can uh, come back home to their houses in northern Israel. And we hope to do that as soon as possible. This one, this is the high bar shakan. The diameter is 1.25 meters of the fuel tank. Again, this is the full fuel tank. This is a propellant base. And the rest is the warhead, approximately one ton of explosive. Those were pointed to Israeli bases and some civil places. We found this one near Arad, a city in the south of Israel. Here you can see very advanced anti-tank missiles, very advanced breaching uh, devices, very advanced uh, anti-craft missiles. Everything is just an upgrade to October 7th, and as I said before, this was his intentions.